In 2011, Kevin Sharp and David Pilo drove a 2010 Tesla Roadster from John O'Groats to Land's End. This was the first ever electric vehicle to make this 840 mile trip, which took them 36 hours. This particular Tesla Roadster is rather special to me, since it was the first EV I ever saw. Back in 2013, I attended a National Trust Hydro and Zero Crown World Charge Point launch event in Snowdonia, North Wales. I remember being blown away when Kevin told me the car had a range of about 200 miles. This experience sowed the seed for my enthusiasm in electric vehicles. This car is now owned by my friend Dean. I was honoured when Dean asked me if I wanted to help him repeat this cross country trip 10 years since the original trip. The car is now 11 and a half years old and still with its original battery pack. The only modifications made to the car is the addition of a Chalamo charging kit to allow the roadster to charge from 50 kilowatts DC. The aim of the trip was to prove that EV batteries can last a long time and raise money for Zero Carbon World charity that donates EV charging stations. This is how we got on. Hello. We're down here, Land's End. Yep. And uh, here ready for the roadster, Land's End to John O'Goat's trip, but... Uh, we decided to go surfing instead. We're supposed to be doing prep today, but the surf was just too good. So, yeah, too we're going to go for a quick surf. Surf today, John O'Goat's in the roadster tomorrow. So what's the reason for this whole trip, Dean? What made you think to do um, do this trip in the car? Uh, the main road raising factor was uh, every time I hear someone say, what are you going to do when you put your batteries in a landfill site in two years' time and it doesn't work anymore? And um, we wanted to prove that that's uh, a myth. And batteries do last a long time. This is right. 11 and a half years old and it still works. See, it's the original battery in the car. Yep. When the car first did this trip, was it 10 years ago? 10 years ago this yeah, year? Yeah, 10, yeah. yeah, 10 years ago, 11 and a so half years old. So that's pretty cool. So it's one of the oldest electric cars. Yeah. Still on the road. It's the first it's time. Going. Yeah, it's the first time we've had opportunity to kind of uh, prove that they do last a long time. Yeah, right. Uh, and obviously they've got even better since this one was made. Right, morning. It is now 6.34 in the morning and we are leaving Land's End in the Tesla Roadster. on this first leg, uh, cruising at 16 miles an hour after 78 miles of driving. Cruising stuff in Exeter yep. services. What was that, about 127 and, uh, miles of first day? Yeah. And now we're charging on Chadamo. So plugged into this uh, Chadamo kit in there. So we've nearly finished charging here at Exeter Services. Uh, been here 18 minutes so far. I'm at 69%. Um, a few people have been asking, is this at the original battery pack in the Roadster? Yes, it is, but don't take our word for it. There is the warranty void if broken seal, which is not broken. So Indeed. it's never been opened in 11 and a half years since it left the factory. This is stop number two um, <coughs> at Molly's Diner in Bristol. And really nice and smooth drive up here and sun's out now so it is a lot nicer than the first leg this morning in the rain and car we be plugged in it's had about 30 percent left and we're pulling 120 amps which is about bang on 50 kilowatts which is fantastic this car is charging so fast on the chadamo um, <clears throat> compared to that if we didn't have chadamo this car would be ac only um, so we're maxing out i think at 12 kilowatts pulling on one phase on a 43 kilowatt ac charge point um, 
So having the Chad Chatham upgrade is a big, big plus. 26 minutes, 18 kilowatt hours. I'm ready to go. Next stop, Birmingham. So there's quite a lot of congestion, a 45 minute delay on the motorway. So the sat nav rerouted us um, through, to, through some towns and then off onto some A roads. And <clears throat> this is when any in any other petrol sports car of this type, you know, manual gearbox and everything, yeah. they've been an absolute nightmare to drive. It would have been hard work, it would have been horrible fuel consumption, and we're actually doing more than five miles per kilowatt hour. But in an EV, obviously, we <clears throat> just get to have regen, regen braking and smooth driving through town, and then out on the A roads now. This is where the road really comes into its uh, comes into its own. So we've made it to Abingdon, Abingdon in the Tesla Roadster. It's been working so well so far. It's been charging really fast, not getting hot, hot at all, no rapid gate, and absolutely munching through the miles. No major dramas really, about 63%, pulling 84 amps, just starting to throttle, but it's been taking like well over 100 amps up until now. So yeah, little car's been going really well, getting really good, really good efficiency. Currently been on the road about nine hours. Sorry, dri driving for nine hours. Um, we left 6.30 this morning and it is now about, yeah, quarter past seven in the, in the evening. So now into the night, heading through Scotland.
Right, we have made it to Perth. Now the, the night leg begins. We've had some fun and games here. Took us a while to get the charging going. Yep. Our fault though. It turns out when the car is very low on range, what was it, um, below 20%, yes. it won't allow Chadamo charging. We didn't know that, so we, we spent ages it plugging and unplugging. We were just a smidge below 20%, which... You learn, um, you learn something every day, okay? So we put it on AC for a bit, charged it up, put it in range mode, and then, um, yeah, now it's charging. Yeah. Fun and games, and over there is a massive bank of Tesla superchargers that Model 3 charged on in a very quick time. So yeah, we're just chilling here for a little bit, probably another sort of 30 minutes, because we're still pretty low, and then on to King Gussie. to John O'Groats. It is 2.42 in the morning and we're bombing along the highlands in the Roadster. All going well. Yeah, running full, making the most of the Roadster on these roads. This is what the Roadster's made for. But taking it steady, currently using, we've used 230 watt hours per mile. We've been driving for 14 hours, 176 kilowatt hours and it's reporting um, 766 miles driven which would be a little bit wrong because the tyres on this car are a bit bigger but yeah, so it's probably, I mean, is it 800 and something odd miles the full trip? 843, uh, like Yeah, so on this final trip it's actually the one, one of the longest trips of the trip apart from the first one we've got 59 miles to go and we've got 83 miles an hour remaining on the, uh, on the trip there so yeah, all going well. Should be in Johnny Groats by 4 a.m. It's fair to say, um, major any major mishaps aside, is that we've totally smashed the original 36 hour time. I mean, yep. not it's not because we've been driving fast or anything. It's just because. We've got much better charging infrastructure now than when Kevin first did this trip. We're able to charge at like three times the speed, really. At least twice, over twice the speed. Um, yeah, which obviously makes a big difference. But yeah, the car is still very capable. 11 and a half year old car. Hasn't skipped the beat, really. It's been working fantastically. It's been amazing. It's yeah. Like, yeah, and the higher charge rates and things we can get now means that you can drive it at just as full highway speed as fast as you're legally allowed to do so. Yeah. Um, the only bit that struggles is the bit behind the wheel, really. Uh, we're feeling <laughs> a bit tired. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, it's us that, the, the car's totally fine. It's us, that we're flagging at this point. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are definitely feeling like the weak link at this moment. The car could definitely keep going. You know, we could just The car could drive back again. Rapid charge and do it again. Battery temperature has never gone. High motor temperature's never gone high. We've been monitoring all these different things, and it's just been absolutely rock steady. Here we are, just driving the final few hundred meters down to John Groats. It is precisely four o'clock in the morning, and we left Lands End at six thirty yesterday morning. Ooh. Here we are at the signpost where this car was in this very same spot yep. 10 years ago this year. This car was here making the first ever EV trip from London to Johnny Groats. And here it is again. 
Four o'clock, four in the morning. Quick shot of the car by the sign. All the team.